Hey guys, Peter here. You know, in the past two weeks, I've been making a lot of videos about automations using Puppeteer JS scripting, and so I wanted to give a few examples of things you can do with these technologies. So the first example would be doing a differential between two sets of data. So in my job right now, for example, let's say there's a list of names or a list of things on one list, and you want to know if they're on another list or if they're not on the other list. That's a thing that's great to do with code. It could be a filter on an array. If you're familiar with that concept. Another thing you could do is tedious submission tasks. So if you learn a little bit of Puppeteer and you have to fill out a form a bunch of times, if you have that data all set already, then you can use Puppeteer to do it. And you can also use Puppeteer to essentially get around the fact that a service you might be using might not have a publicly available API. So you can extract data with Puppeteer, scrape it, or you can submit data with Puppeteer. 